Okay, so Aidan, uh, Snetterton's finished now. Uh, three action-packed races. Uh, well, definitely from my point of view. I'm not sure what it was like uh, from yours, but uh, definitely uh, an energetic way to return to BTCC. Yeah, I mean, it was a horrible start for us. We qualifying with a few issues with the car and I never put a good lap together. So we were on the back foot, but 14th, it was, um, we could, it was a good position to work forward to get inside the top 10, but... Unfortunately, we got a 30-second stop-start penalty because of the apparently the car wasn't on the ground quick enough on the on the grid. Um, whether it was or wasn't, I don't know. But never mind. That's that is what it is. So um, starting race two, P23, it looked like that was the end of it really. But we managed to get up to 11th, and then race three finished with a top 10, which is um, I mean, it's good to be back up there. But it's almost disappointing that it's not be more frequent because their pace has always put us there. It's just been a a run of really bad luck and at the end of the day, if you're quick, you're quick. If uh, luck comes and goes, so, I mean, obviously you'd rather have the pace, but it doesn't make it any easier to digest when you, you can't get the results that you uh, you should be getting from the way the car handles. I mean, it is, a, it is a major positive, though, the fact that you managed to go from 23rd to 11th in one race. That's a really impressive drive. I think it's the most places you might have made up in a race. Uh, it's it's uh, So it, the pace is definitely there in the car. Yeah, I mean, I think I made six or seven on the crash. I uh, just got into, got into sixth gear and the car braked in front of me, so I swerved to avoid it, wondering what I was doing, and all of a sudden there was a three or four spinning across the track, and uh, thought, I thought I was going to be the end of the car, to be honest, but uh, we managed to get to the other side, so... I mean, that helped us. It's, it's never nice to see, of course. It's uh, obviously a lot of teams and drivers putting a lot of effort and hard work to get on the grid. So to see cars damaged like that, it's, it's not nice because it's a, it's a horrible position to be in. But it's, I mean, it helped us out a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's, it's still a, it's a shame to see that happen to anyone. But it, thankfully, it played into our favour. And finally, uh, your home round next, not kill. Uh, it should be a good one for you, of course. Uh, Fond memories of uh, getting a podium uh, back then, of course not being able to celebrate, so giving you something to uh, aim for this year. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to get the champagne ball as well as the trophy this year, that would be nice. But no, it's, it's always a, it's a good track for me, it's the, the track I know the best of course, it's where I've done the majority of my racing, so we're expecting to be quick around there, uh, the car's good there, so um, I think it should be a strong event for us. Okay, thank you for your time, Aiden, and very good luck for not kill. Thank you.